In this video, we're going to learn how to find the reference angle for a given angle. Um, reference angle, when you have a special angle, all right, this is a special angle. Our special angles are um, the ones that have a, uh, or a multiple of pi over 2 or pi over 4, like this one, or pi over 3 or pi over 6. These are all special angles and we will deal with them a little bit differently. When it's one of the special angles, it's just going to be, uh, the reference angle is just going to be um, pi over that denominator. So pi over 4 is the reference angle. Now, I mean, you could draw it if you wanted. If you did, it would look like this. Here's my unit circle. Here's pi. Now I have pi over 2 and now it's pi over 4. I'm supposed to go, what, 11 pi over 4? So starting from here, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 pi over 4 would be right here. Um, so this is 11 pi over 4. The reference angle is always the angle that's measured against the x-axis. And of course, the size is pi over 4, because each one of these is 1 fourth of pi. All right, but we knew that immediately. That's going to be the reference angle when it's one of the special ones. Um, now, 12 is not one of our special angles. So we need to draw a picture and figure out what quadrant it's in and subtract. So um, look at the numerical part, the coefficient, 25 over 12. Let's turn that into a decimal. 25 divided by 12, that's 2.08. All right, it's about 2.1. Okay, so that means that this is approximately negative 2.1 pi is about what we're dealing with. So let's draw a picture of it and find the quadrant. So, All right, so it's negative, so that means I will be traveling clockwise. Let's start off with our standard position right here. And I'm going negative 2.1 pi. Um, so negative 2 pi is one full revolution. So that's negative 2 pi so far. So negative 2.1 is just going to nudge over into the fourth quadrant. So I'm just going to scoot over just a little bit into the fourth quadrant. And that's the key is the what quadrant I'm in. Okay, so look, um, right here, I was at negative 2 pi. All right, I went around to negative 2 pi, pi. I went a little bit further, and I got to this negative 2.1 pi. But I'm going to write the exact form, which is negative 25 pi over 12. Now, the reference angle is here in between. So that's why I need to subtract these two from each other. Um, I can ignore the signs because I just want the difference. So what I need to do is I need to do negative, well, I'm going to do 25 pi over 12 minus 2 pi. Okay, I'm, I'm ignoring the, um, the signs. So I'm doing 25 pi over 12 minus 2 pi. And remember, this is like 2 pi over 1. So I'm going to multiply by 12. So that's going to give me 25 pi minus 24 pi um, over 12. Obviously, 25 minus 24 is just 1 pi. So it's just going to be 1 pi over 12. Okay, so that is going to be the reference angle.